Hello everybody and welcome back to the labs. I am Tausty and thank you for joining me here on another episode of Resonant Rise. Hanging out here in the mech station, having a lot of fun. I'm working on cooking things up. You know, I've had this magic armor for a long time, but for those of you who have watched my channel, magic for me is not the norm. Um, I've touched a little bit of blood magic in mod sauce and I touched a couple of... Uh, of aspects of it in karma before that world exploded into an abyss of horribleness and despair and I've got all this glass in here that I probably don't need I'll keep like two stacks in there and so I while I have enjoyed having the samurai looking armor I do think it's time to have a more technological based method of defense now couple things are going to happen. We're going to lose some of our runic shielding. But we're going to keep our amulets, which do have runic shielding, right? So we should still have a bit of that. It's not going to be huge, but it's going to be a bit. And I'm okay with that. So first thing I want to do is throw this guy up here. And we're going to say goodbye to what I was wearing. So we're slow. We're inhibited. We can still fly. Oop, leg. Still fly, but... One thing I need to make happen is I need to make a bunch of dark steel along with some other items. So, dark steel armor is pretty cool, and I think that's what I want to do for now. And eventually, we're going to change this as well. My armor is going to fluctuate just pretty wildly over the season um, and over our exploration into all of the different mods and things like that. So we're going to make a few pieces of this and see what's required. First thing I'm going to need is some goggles of revealing. I'll probably get those for sure, actually. Let's make a couple thaw meters. Man, why could I never spell these? Uh, where are you, thaw meter? Thaumometer. That's why I can never spell them. Get a couple thaumometers. Oh, shoot. So, say goodbye here. Actually, this is going to be a good test of something. A couple thermometers. We're going to need uh, gogs of revealing. Ooh. Uh, some leather and a couple gold. That's easy. Or not. Leather. Got loads of leather. And a couple of gold. Where's my gold? There's my gold. That's not gold. That's gold. Uh, that should be like that and that like that, right? I think I need more leather. I said it was easy. Apparently it's harder than it looks. There we go. Pull that out. Will you recharge? Because I moved all these around, I may have to reset this. So if you guys didn't see this last time, um, where do we have my wonderful, wonderful memory card? There it is. Let me clean up a little bit here. Hold on, this is getting ridiculous. I don't need all this good stuff anymore. Conduit facade, I'm sure I will remember where that came from and be like, and freak out when I see it. But uh, for now, it's kind of in the way. Let's get rid of that. Put this up. Go here and put that up. There we go. All right, we're 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 back. We're back in business. Our inventories are cleaned up. We're good to go. All right, so goggles of revealing is going to be the first one we want. We will also need a vibrant crystal for both of these. Actually, we'll probably need about four of these guys. Four, at least. Just in case. Um, I don't know if I have that many emeralds ready to go. Okay, I got five. All right, so the four vibrant crystals. Potion of Night Vision. I think I will make a Potion of Night Vision just because I do have the brew stand and everything. Um, night Vision. I need an Awkward Potion with a Golden Carrot. Well, I do have a few carrots. Let's get some gold going on. Uh, okay. I will need a few of them. I know I'm short on gold, so that was probably a mistake, but that's okay. Let's just look and see if we have a bottle. And some nether wart. 
Where's my nether wart? There I go. Here I go again. Alright, so nether wart goes in there. We'll let that cook up. What else are we going to need? I don't really need the sound locator, I don't think. But it might be interesting just to have. So let's make a note block. Okay. Alright, so let's set this up like this. We're going to say the helmet needs the note block, the vibrant crystal, the that, <laughs> the that. Let me go fix this while I'm thinking about it before I forget again. I need to right click on, shift right click on that to save. That's the V relay. And then I will uh, left click on, or right click on that. There we go. That should eventually start recharging. Very, very interesting. Why are you not recharging? Interesting. Did that break? This is what should work to make that do what I want it to do. Okay, well, I'll have to figure that part out later. Anyways. I will need a whole lack of uh, capacitors. So for each of these, I think I'm going to need. Dang. Okay. So one, two. Oh, yeah, this goes here as well. Three. Let's get the chest plate. Or the dark steel. Uh, where's my dark steel? Let's make the chest plate really quick as well. Uh, I'm not going to put the glider on, I don't think. Not really my thing when you have uh, an angel ring. All right. So, vibrant crystal. They're going to take a capacitor. Capacitor. I will need to keep a fourth one here. Then we'll get our capacitors again. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I need. So it'll be one, two, three. The fourth is the backup. And then the eight in there to make the final pieces. Boom. All right. One, two, three, four. Ish. <laughs> All right, so let's start with working on these. I have a bunch of experience. I've got an anvil that's kind of broken. That's all right. That should increase the cost of our experience a little bit. And let's just start clearing some of this out. All right. Give it the note block. Give it the... That is not what the carrot's for. Golden carrot goes in there. Can't give my um, helmet a golden carrot, although that would be interesting. All right, and then, whoa. All right, apparently that was more broken than I thought it was. Wow, it's a new anvil. Good night. I wonder, I've never made this before, I don't think. I'm pretty sure you have to feed experience into it, which, you know, isn't really the end of the world for us. But I did end up piping the Tesseract or the, the Dimensional Transceiver's experience um, over to our, our current, like, experience storage system, which I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest, but I will, uh, I'll be changing it up a little bit. Um... Sorry, what was I doing here? How it spawn it? Oh yeah, this. 
Boom. Okay. I've never used this before. Let's just see how it works. I'm, I feel like it needs power and that for some reason. It requires mob essence. Oh, that's interesting, actually. That's unfortunate. And that's not really going to do what I want it to do, because ideally it would have been like that sort of a thing. So that's all right. We're not going to use that. Um, although we did just waste three anvils, which we got iron for days. I'm not worried about anvils. I just wish there was a better way. I mean, there is a dark steel and well, maybe I should do that. Let's do that. I didn't even know this was a thing. That's awesome. I was just saying, I wish there was a better anvil. Lasts much longer than the vanilla anvil. And I don't even use the vanilla anvil that much. It just broke. Like, it's crazy. Um, let's actually put it here. Dong. Awesome. All right. So... I was doing this. I've got the double layer's got to go in still. Why didn't it take the double layer? Oh, it did. And the triple layer. All right. So what are we missing now? Photovoltaic. We do have to make the photovoltaic cells and the potion of night vision. <laughs> Joe says hi. All right, so let's just grab the night vision potion while I'm thinking about it. So as you can see, I've, I had 150 levels experience. This process takes a lot, but this armor ends up being really, really, really good and really, really powerful. So that's all for that. Um, let's go ahead and make the leggings while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's just make sure we have some dark steel. You can see how making the dark steel a big batch of it is handy and how having that anvil will actually help us a lot because, um, I mean, this, like, you have to enchant so much or enchant anvil hammer? Is hammer the right word? All right, let me go um, just check on something for them real quick. They're making a really cool base. And I'll show that off very, very soon. Um, but let me just see. I got... Okay, I'll change that out. Oh, my goodness. The lag had just happened. The lag is really strange down there. I'll have to take a look at that. So, that's that. I'm going to throw this in here. This. And I'm out of levels. Look at that. Just like that, we just burned through 150 levels. That is insane. Like, just outrageous. So I think I'm going to change this system up right now. Um, let me just see something for him. All right, and then doo -doo 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 -doo. so let's just make these photovoltaic cells. This is a fully ep an episode where you guys watch me stare at the crafting terminal. <laughs> Sorry if this is not your thing. All right, daylight sensor, no problem. There's one photovoltaic cell, and the second one will also need to be a thing eventually. So we'll do that, which, oh, we need one more nugget. Curses. So I don't, I'm really, that uh, green alloy there, um, pulsating iron. I don't know how I got that or when I got that, but it's a thing. All right, so wait, quartz, no, I see, I need glowstone. <laughs> yeah, he does know. Oh, this is still cooking. That's insane. All right, let's pull that out of there. I did make about two stacks of it at least. Um, what else has to go? Oh, iron. Forgot about that. Is that not... Do I need glass with that? I haven't made the photovoltaic cells, I don't think, since they changed the recipe. Enlightened fused quartz. So I do need the quartz with it. That's fine. There we 
There you go. So four gives you one piece of that. That is a pretty rough trade-off. I don't have a lot of glowstone. Uh, let's do that. I think Wolf's here. Hey, Wolf. All right. Hi, -o. Uh, what was it in? Oh, yeah, photovoltaic. I would really like to make two of these just to check something. A couple daylight sensors, which apparently I'm short on slabs for. Nice. All right, let's try that. Photovoltaic advanced part two. These are not cheap. Not cheap, they're not simple recipes, that's for sure. Nothing in NRIO is a simple recipe anymore, but I don't really have a problem with that because of how just wonderful it is. Let's make some more quartz really quick. I have a bit of nether essence still. I've been using a lot of quartz for builds, so I had to make a bunch of nether essence. All right, there's two of those. The reason I want to make two of these is actually just to see something. I just need one, to be honest. And I didn't think about that at all. Let's do this. I'll need to make another set of this. I know I have enough for that one, but I know I won't have enough for the last one. To do, to do, to do, to do. We're getting our armor upgraded. All right. So here's the thing with these. As far as I know, they form some sort of multi-block structure now. Yeah, see? There's no texture in between, and they will output, like, a certain level of efficiency. Um, and so it, it depends on, like, where they are and how, that, how efficient it is. And we can work with that a little bit if we want to set up that system. But uh, that's just something I thought was kind of cool. Relatively new update, actually, that they are working together properly now. All right, so that right there is a fully upgraded helmet from Ender.io. So we throw this puppy on and we'll notice very few of the effects except for the goggles of revealing, which is great. It's great for us, it really is. Um, so let's open up our controls. And let's go to dark steel armor. We don't really need to toggle the goggles revealing, I don't think. I do want to have a toggle for night vision. And I think I'm going to make that C. Um, and then we will have a toggle for the sound locator, which I don't really need to be anything specifically. So we're going to be numpad 8. Um, Speed will do five and step assist will be four. Okay, let's make it six. Yeah, sure. All right. And that will probably be it for that. Also, I wouldn't mind having this set to B, but it will conflict, which isn't really a big deal. Yeah, maybe it is. Oh, well, we'll work with that in a minute. So that will turn that on. If I press C, I've now got night vision. Isn't that awesome? So it will technically use energy, I believe, but the advanced photovoltaic cell will actually uh, recharge our whole suit slowly and possibly even stuff in our inventory. I don't really know. So what do we need to do? Um, let's just pull some more XP out of here. This is going to be a, a humdrum system. I think I will upgrade this as well just to finish this off. This is not the greatest way of doing this uh, at all, and we're going to need to change it up for sure. Use an XP thingy from Ender.io. Okay. Why do I have two pairs of pants and no boots? Dark steel. All right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so for this, we are going to want the empowered capacitor. We got that Flippers, we need a lily pad. I don't think I have a lily pad. And a potion of swiftness. Now, let's get another water bottle. Or at least another bottle. We're going to do this whole process on camera. To 
get some nether wart and I believe some sugar that's what we'll need okay and then let's go work on this a little bit um, we'll put number two oh we got number two in there It needs the basic still. Oh, maybe I didn't do that at all. Oh no, that one's actually already got them all. Okay, that's why I thought I was confused. I thought I somehow missed one. Um, sorry. I I don't understand the derpiness with an anvil in with inventory tweaks, or I don't know what actually causes that, but it's really annoying if you use your mouse wheel it, it doesn't have that effect apparently all right let's grab all this it's it, you don't really take enough experience with one chunk for it to do that top part very quickly so that's why it always looks like it's kind of having issues it just refills it so quickly all right boots empowered two three four all right, so I don't have to worry about all of those being empowered anymore. And they'll actually charge up as we hold them from our handy dandy wireless charger. So jump, we're gonna need some pistons. Possibly three. Let's do that. No experience. See, this is why it's a good thing to have an XP farm, especially when you want to get in to the wonderful world of dark steel armor the other nice thing about all of these is i believe we can enchant all these which we will do after if it's anything like the dark steel tools they're fully enchantable and so we'll definitely do that as well um and we'll be pretty beastly at that point uh where are my, my boots oh i'm probably wearing them aren't they yep boots Piston, jump one, jump two is a piston again and more levels, and jump three is a piston again and more levels. Sweet. So that's kind of all for the boots at the moment. But if you we go outside, we can see that without flight, you know, I don't, let's just throw my ring on, oh no, I'm magnet. So if I hold space, that's the jump now, right? And that's not using flight. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. I mean, having flight kind of makes it moot, but I do like that option um, in case we ever can't use flight or something like that. Like in the Thomcraft dungeons, you can't use flight. Um, in the Eldritch dungeons, there's it's, all flight is disabled. And so we'll have to, uh, to take care of that at some point. So now at least I can jump around if I have to. There's some higher tier stuff in there. All right. So what do we need for the chest of uh, not much more to be ever or to be ever to be not much more really is what I'm trying to say. Um, that one's okay. And a potion of swiftness is really all we need for the legs right now. Um, somewhere along the lines, there is an uphill step assist for it. So while that's cooking up, let's go see if we can't find a lily pad. Where is the lily pad? Now I've seen them near our base. I shouldn't have to go far. Hmm. I thought I would be able to get that a bit quicker. I do feel like I fly slower. I don't really know what's causing that. Between our our new armor though, our runic shielding on our our baubles and um, our extra hearts, we shouldn't have a problem really dying at all. I'll go look for those in a moment. So the potion of swiftness should definitely be done. Just hop down here. Make sure we're grabbing our levels. I hope we don't run out soon. I mean, I know the farm Getting the XP from the Killer Joe is going to help us a lot with levels, but it's not that fast. 
I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong. And we do have the farm coming in as well still. But it's not that fast. There you go. Um, that would be the wrong one, right? Oh, I think we do have the uphill assist already. Ooh, I can make another one if I add a potion of swiftness again. That's not an elevator. Uh-huh. Potion, uh, water, uh, bottle, <laughs> just a bottle. I should keep a water bottle in here at all times. And another wart. And a sugar again. So no problem for that. No, 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 no. <laughs> 2.3 degrees coolant per bucket. I wonder what that coolant tool tip is for. Maybe, is it for, that can't be for brewing. That brewing tab is for refinery location purposes. Come on, finish up. Awkward potion. This is like the strangest UI. You, you know, all of Minecraft's UIs are fairly similar. You either have an inventory or you have a machine. And they move from one side to the other and show completion. This is the only one that just stays the same. It's just very... I don't mind it. I actually really like the inventory of the brewing stand. I think it's cool. Um, I wish it, you know... It fits vanilla really well. It doesn't fit modded really well. Not the UI, but just the system it uses. So I'm glad there are some alternatives. Kind of wish somebody would just beef up the... I was, I was freaking out. I was like, why won't it work? <laughs> the wrong way. And then another potion of swiftness will help us out as well. All right. Okay, so here's what I was concerned about. We are, in fact, running low on experience. So that's not good. So we're going to put this in right now. And if I come over here, I'm wondering if this will show me the jump assist. Yeah, the step assist is definitely there. And I can turn it off with numpad six. So it doesn't throw me around. That's one of the reasons I like to upgrade to this armor because everything in it's really toggleable. And I know that's very similar to like the modular power suits, which are in this, but I just, you know, I stuck with modular power suits for like all of one six and all of one five. I think I'm good to not use them anymore right now. All right. And one more bottle. I wish I had seen this coming. Probably could have looked at it. <clears throat> and again, I forgot the nether wart and the sugar. Thankfully, there's so much of them. They're up top here. And just think, this would have taken one nether wart and one sugar if I would planned ahead and put all three in at one time. <laughs> oh, well. One thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, when dealing with your RF tools worlds... You'll notice that I was talking in the first episode we were exploring. I wish there was a way to sort of see power levels, get some information about the dimension while in the dimension. And there is absolutely a way to do that. And that is like so. Scroll on through here and you'll find eventually... Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You'll see something called... Yeah, the dimension monitor. This is an item. You carry this item with you and it shows you, right now it says not an RF tools dimension. That's because we're in the overworld. If I were in one of my RF tools dimensions, it would in fact tell me information, power level and like just a little bit of information about the dimension, the stuff that I wanted to know. So it'll be there for sure. And you don't actually need to make it right now. You could just hover over it in any eye. It'll give you the same information. So that's kind of awesome. Um, I do have one, and then I realized I didn't need to make it until after that. So that's something to keep in mind. I remembered I had talked about that a little bit, and it's just, you know, something to focus on. I'm definitely going to keep my phases of armor um, through here, you know, if I end up with another kind of armor. I do have an idea for my tools that I think I'm going to get into. It will require a bit of planning and uh, possibly a bit of, Minecraft trickery, but I don't know yet. Uh, I, I don't want to say too much, but I have an idea. I'm I just I really miss the tools the imbued tools from Practicalities and while 
I have spoken to the RR guys, and they said it is on the list, but it's not really... They don't know yet. They really don't know. Um, and I haven't checked their veto page in a long time. So, there's all that. Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to do a lot of enchanting right now, unfortunately. But if we throw our guys in here... Look at that. You can enchant it with anything. So, that's what we'll be doing when I get more experience. So, let's just take a run and see how fast we are. Alright. We haven't put haste on or anything. That's probably going to be my first enchant. But the nice thing is it definitely helps flight as well. Uh, the speed helps the flight. Now, I'm getting a little bit of frame rate lag. I'm not sure what the reason for that is right now. Um, I'll have to look into that. Which one of these takes hit? Put haste on it. The boots do. I need... <coughs> excuse me. I need at least level 10, it says. All right, well, this will fill slowly, but not with near enough experience to get me to where I want it to be. And I don't know if that's because of how it funnels through here. Let's just see here real quick. There's none there. There's none there. All right. There is excuse me, 10,000 in here, and I'm wondering if I do this. Yeah, I'll pull it out of there and we'll put it into our system here. That's handy. Um, and I just want to get a bit of haste on this right now. You know, it's not... I will wait and I'll come back and I'm, there'll be loads of experience. It'll be fine, but let's just do this really quick to make sure it works. Haste 3. There we go. I don't think you can put it on here, can you? No, you can't. All right. So let's throw the rest of this on here. And see if that's helped at all. It, it does seem to have, actually. Minus my ridiculous frame rate lag at the moment. That's awesome. All right. So we've got armor that is actually going to give us more straight up armor than the fortress armor did. But... Uh, it does not look near as cool, and it's not even enchanted yet, and still it'll end up giving us more armor. And then we've got our runic shielding and our extra hearts and everything. And so that is going to be that. Uh, I'm going to call the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me craft all the dark steel stuff and playing with that. I'll finish enchanting it, probably off camera. But I'll definitely show you guys what I got from it. If you did enjoy the episode, leave me a like or subscribe. And until next time, hang up your lab coats on the way out, and I will see you guys later. Deuces!